Hey guys, Hunter Trippy Hunter, back with another Apollo Porcupine video. Let's see what the Ursula Hospital looks like, since apparently 50% of it blown away. It doesn't look damaged at all, so that's good. What the? No. Oh. Hey, did I stutter? There's a general meet in the cafeteria. I'm going, I'm going. I didn't even hear you. Jesus, calm down. Great said I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, well, damn it. I've never had a meeting here. Must be something important. I hope the patients are alright. Carl! Do you know what's going on here? Nope, not a clue. The whole time I've been here, I've only had one journal meeting before, and that was about the missing leg. The what? Ah, funny story. Surgery screwed up. Cut off a patient's leg. Nasty, but a normal operation. What was the problem? It was the wrong one. Oh my god. By the time they realized it had already been taken away for disposal, a nurse got there just before it was thrown in the garbage. They managed to reattach it, but the healing process was no fun, and the whole thing cost the hospital a fortune. Ever since then, we marked the left and right limbs with a felt pen before every operation. A simple solution, but it prevents expensive mistakes. Oof. Yep. No, oh, it's our buddy. Oh, dearie me. I wish I was back in my lab. Oh, Mia. Hey, you're already here. Yeah, my shopping didn't take too long. And then I got the bus straight here. Any idea why we've all been called here? I think it's about the damage from the storm. Did you see the huge chunk of rubble laying out around outside? Yeah, do you think that's why they called us all together like this? Do they want us to clear the rubble away together? Perhaps. Hopefully that's the worst that's happened. Maybe the building's unstable. If that were true, don't you think we'd be having this meeting outside? You're right there, I guess, again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Oh, I think it's starting. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Oh, I'm sure it won't be too bad. Let's get nearer to the front. Thank you all for coming. I realize we're all very busy, so I'll be brief. First of all, you'll know Dr. Theobard isn't joining us for this meeting. There has been a lot going on today, and our chief physician has a few matters to attend to. As such, I'll be speaking on his behalf today. As you may have noticed, certain irregularities occurred in the hospital building last night. I understand there is some concern. However, I would like to take this opportunity to assure you that the damage does not pose a danger to either the building or the people there within. I've already received an assessment, and the damage is only superficial. So it's not all that bad, right? Nevertheless, this incident will once again draw the eyes and ears to us. St. Ursula's has come under repeated criticism in recent months. This incident, small as it is, could strike or stoke our critics' fires. With that in mind, on behalf of St. Ursula's, I would ask you expressively, if a person or member of the press asks you about the damage, please refrain from making any statements and come straight to us. In such times, clear and unambiguous, communication with the Wielder Pokemon community is essential. We will be happy to answer any questions you have at any time. But for now, let's get back to work. I've taken up enough of your time already. Time that should be dedicated to our valued patients. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day, okay? Hmm. What do you make of all this, Carl? What a load of nonsense. A lot of fuss about nothing. And now we've got even more work than usual to catch up on? I'll see you upstairs, kid. Hmm. Are you okay, Mia? I don't quite understand the announcement. It's not like the storm was the hospital's fault. 
We should start our shift. Our poor patients will be waiting for us. Yeah, it seems like kind of like a waste of time. Just to be like, don't talk to the press. But I guess, you know, they don't want to get sued or anything. But, I mean, at the same time, like, damn, man, take care of your hospital. But it's falling apart. You gotta close up a ward. Alright, let's see if we can get this trophy down this time for real. Hey guys, Hunter Trophy Hunter here. So in order to get the Talking to Ghost Trophy, you have to do this four separate times. And it's your fourth time, the trophy should pop. So you go all the way down the basement, go all the way to the right. All right, let's go up here, guys. I know that voice. Mr. Hendrick, do you have a minute? Come in. Those piles of rubble in front of the door. Do you think they'll be gone soon? Ah, you're worried about the hospital's reputation too? Very good, very good. The staff should be as concerned as we are. No, I... What is it then? We can't get past them with the wheelchairs. It's kind of a problem. Oh. Yes, of course. That hasn't escaped our attention either. We... We'll take care of it. Okay. Still no trophy. Interesting. I guess let's go start our shift. Dr. Prosky, there you are. Where else would I be? I do run this ward after all. Well, I didn't see you at the general meeting. No meeting is important enough to leave our patients unattended. I already spoke to Dr. Theobald this morning, so I know what's happening and I would ask you to comply with the instructions of the management. We need to do our part to ensure that everyone here can do their work in peace. Speaking of work, I've updated your file. I wish you a productive shift. All right, what are our tasks today? I have to deal with both those kids again. Hey Rudy, how are you today? How's the self-inflicted food poisoning going? I'm feeling better, but I almost threw up again when the hospital started shaking last night. Can you keep it down, please, my head? He's just jealous because I'm fit and healthy again. I'm telling you, Doc, it was like an earthquake. When the roof came down, everyone jumped out of their beds to see what was going on. It was sick. I bet it was a good thing you're not sick anymore. Totally, hee hee. I even had breakfast this morning. That sounds good, so take it easy and stay in your beds, okay? Sure, it's just like so boring here. I want to sleep. All right, let's take a look at your readings. I think we can adjust your medications already. Awesome. So. We do this. 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 Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, but then our red's gonna be messed up. You know what? That's good enough to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I figured. But, excellent. We got the bacteria under control. We'll give you some medication. But I think you can go home tomorrow. You're not infectious anymore either. If you can keep yourself out of trouble for a few weeks, you'll be back to full health in no time. Yeah, I'm way stronger than that stupid Shingilla. Did you hear that, Ollie? I won again, hee hee. Leave me alone, okay? I'll take a look at Ollie. Take it easy and try to get some more sleep. On it. Is everything okay? I feel so sick. I can't keep anything down. My head and stomach hurt so bad. You don't sound too good. I'll give you the same shot I gave you yesterday, okay? This should get the singular back under control. Sure. Do what you can. It's probably gonna be there. Looks like your single hasn't died down yet. Your body's still fighting it. Ouch. Come on. Don't be so dramatic about it, Ollinator. Ollie? He's not being dramatic. Your brother needs to stay here until his readings improve. But get some rest, Ollie. Try to sleep. Do another checkup later, okay? Okay. Your brother's really not doing well. So do me a favor, no messing about, okay? But Ollie's not in any shape for excitement right now. Okay. As long as he gets better, that's the main thing. That's sad. Let's go see our favorite patient. Oh, you're creepy looking. Hello, Finley. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, thank you. A little stormy. How do you like the new room? Well, I miss the waterfall a little. But now it's raining cats and dogs in front of my window, so that's something. That must have been the storm. Strange, isn't it? When the sun's shining, water drips from the ceiling. But when a real storm comes, the building stays pretty dry. Yeah, it's kind of ironic, isn't it? Do you know if the hospital has dust trolls by any chance? Dust trolls? I don't believe I've heard of those. I'd be happy to enlighten you if you have a moment. Sure, I'm all ears. Oh, all right. Then let me tell you about the stormiest night of my life. It was a stormy fall night. The rain was coming down in buckets. We had to tie everything down to stop the wind throwing it about. Little Gwenyula was still at the bar with Gilbert. I could only hope that they were both okay. I was home alone, nailing boards to the windows. The whole house was shaking, but I secured what I could. Unfortunately, that didn't include our porcelain windmills, though they were ugly old things, to be honest. Anyway, I made the best of it. I fired up the stove and cooked the only thing that helps us on stormy nights like that, a hot cinnamon cocoa with an almond crust. I curled up in a blanket and settled into my favorite armchair. Then suddenly the whole house rumbled and a bundle of twigs fell on my head. I was about to throw them in the trash when I heard these little voices. Hey, what are you doing? She wants to throw our house in the trash. What's she thinking? The sounds were coming from the twigs. They were these little creatures living in the bundle. They called themselves dust trolls. They came by that name because they liked to collect dust from around people's homes and use them to sew clothes and blankets. We chatted for a while. Unfortunately, their home had been so damaged they asked me to fix it. I didn't have much to hand than the dust trolls saw the broken windmill. That ugly thing? That ugly thing, I asked, but the trolls liked it. So I glued the pieces back together and set it up in the hallway. The trolls were beside themselves. They partied all night, right on until the storm had passed. And guess what? Since that night, I've never needed to dust again. The dust trolls have done it for me. I even decided to buy a second one though and put it up at Gilbert's. It saved me a lot of time over the years. All of which I spent happily in my armchair. Wrapped up in a blanket with a hot cinnamon cocoa. There's nothing better. I should see if any dust trolls want to move in with me. They'd be a huge help. Well, I'm afraid I don't know exactly how one goes about getting them to move in the house. It seems to just happen. Do you think Gregor or Grandel knows about this? Yes, I know he does, in fact. It was his favorite story when he was young. Hee <laughs> hee. Shall we take a look at your lungs? I was hoping my story would captivate you enough to make you forget that word, but I can see there's no getting around it. I'm a little exhausted anyway. I like to rest my eyes for a spell. It'll make it quick then. Mm. 
Maybe they're adding squares in now to keep us on our toes. Give me that A. Damn right. Your lungs are stable, but the inflammation is still there. Bed rest is the order of the day now, okay? Let's get the antibiotics to do their job. Well, I'd rather keep moving. I know, but please try it for me. And you need to drink a lot so your mucous membranes can defend themselves against the bacteria. Okay. You've had a rough night. Try to get some sleep. Once my son's been to visit, I'll lie down straight away, I promise. It seems he didn't manage to come by yesterday. I'm sure he'll be here soon. And don't worry, you'll be back on your feet in no time. I don't want to talk to you, you buck tooth freak. All done. Excellent, right? Let's see. Thank you, Finley. No problem. The work goes much easier when the weather is bad. Take care, Finley. You must have sensed how tense the atmosphere is here. Sometimes the weather is a reflection of people's moods. What are your thoughts on the situation? That's no concern of yours at the moment. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Just be on your toes more so than usual. Will do. Thanks for the heads up. Hmm. So wait, am I free to leave? Or should I go to the break room? You're still here? Are you looking for something? No, I thought I'd keep you company for a little longer. So friendly. Do you mind answering a few questions for me? As senior physician, your immediate supervisor, I expect I have certain obligations to do so. You may ask me a question. One, what do you want to know? How do you end up at St. Ursula's? What do you think of Dr. Theobald? What's it like a chief resident? That's rather a personal question. But given the current mood, I suppose it can not hurt to open up a little bit. My help to relax the atmosphere, hmm? When I graduated high school, I received a scholarship to study medicine. I had to move to a new country, learning a new language. My family used up all their savings to support me. I was one of the best in my class and was awarded my PhD just a few years later. I originally wanted to work in a large specialist clinic. I wanted to be really involved in the exploration of non-invasive treatment methods. Every clinic wanted me. Why didn't you do it? Strictly speaking, that's the second question, but I'll allow it. I had a professor and mentor who inspired me a lot of the time. His name was Dr. Hugo Theobald. He offered me a job as a junior doctor on his ward. That was back when it was on the fifth floor. And when he became chief physician, he was happy to offer me his position. That was a surprisingly deep insight. Thank you. Don't get used to it. You still have a lot to learn, Finley. So keep your eye on the ball. And now please let me enjoy a few minutes of peace. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Thanks for answering my question. Alright, I guess we're out of here. Anyway, I was distracted. Let's get out of here. Good night. Is that it? No antidotes? No wisecracks? No nothing? Not today, kid. I'm tired. Oh. Well, good night then, Ingrid. Damn, everybody's in a bad mood.
There you are. Have you two been waiting for me? Yes. Me and I have been speaking. There's a really weird vibe here today. You want to go over to Gilbert's and talk it over? Oh, I'd love to come. Thanks for waiting. No problem. Let's get moving. It's already pretty chilly out. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching.